Hey everybody, it's Brooke. I thought we'd put something in the old idea book today. If you'd like to see what it is, stick around. It's been a while since we worked in here, and so just to give you a, a recall, um, we made this book out of, uh, I think, a Weight Watchers recipe book decoupage the outside and I've been following along with Corey Dahman's flips flaps and folds putting things in here I will certainly link Corey down below she's awesome and so I've got all kinds of ideas in here and it's just a reference book so that when I'm making a journal and think oh you know I want some pockets or something I don't have to try to reinvent the wheel every time so each page just has I have my glasses on, not my contacts. I can't see anything. Anyway, so this one has two pockets staggered, three pockets staggered. And the whole book is like that. And I've got them numbered uh, for Corey's idea numbers. And I'm going to make labels for those. So that is our idea book. And it's got tons and tons of ideas. I'm using some Tim Holtz paper and then one of my own digi kits called Grandma's Kitchen, I think. I will link that digi down below as well. In my Etsy shop and so that is the idea book it needs some housekeeping it would appear it's been sadly neglected so what I'm going to do today let's get this out of here I am just I thought I was organized I'm a hot mess so please excuse the humming and hawing and fumbling and carrying on um, because there will be some of that there usually is so I'm going to take my glasses off and just stick my face right up against the project if my giant noggin gets in the way, so sorry. Can't wait till my new contacts get here so I can actually see. So what we're going to make today is this adorable bag. I untied the bow, but there's a bow right there that goes right there. And it's this adorable little tucky bag. So you've got a tag here that ties. Got a pocket there with all these little cute bits in it. There's the bag. I embossed it. First I put this paper on and then I embossed it in my big shot. Can you see that? I think you can. And then of course the bag itself has the pocket back there and I put a piece in for journaling. And I was inspired to do this by Heather at Rose Hill Paper Cottage. Also will be linked down below. She's genius. I'm sure you guys all know Heather. And when you turn it around, look, I have so many Walgreens bags lately. Yay, not. But I thought, hey, why not use those? I like the white bag. And actually, I found that I made some, I don't know where I put them, I made a couple with brown lunch bags. I would show you, but I don't see them. Um, same, same concept, brown lunch bags, but they cracked a lot when I um, embossed them. And the Walgreens bags feel thinner, but they seem to hold up a little better. So there you go. So I've got out my big shot. I'll see if I can wrangle that over here. Get my bag and my plate okay so i have my walgreens bag i picked the staple out it's got a little bit of um hole you know it's got some holes in it because of the staple but that's okay and i thought i would use i wanted to put some of this gingham on the bag just to brighten up that white a little bit and the, the digi is called grandma's kitchen this is a freebie that coordinates with it from my facebook group come on over and join us on facebook if you haven't done that already um, the link also is below I try to put out a freebie. Well, I call it a Friday freebie. It's more like a weekend freebie, I would say. Um, and those are always a lot of fun. Just make sure if you come and ask to join the group that you answer the little questions that come up because that way I know you're not a robot. Get out my glue book, get out my glue. Okay, and I'm just gonna glue this piece of paper onto our bag. When I'm making a digi, I have so many extra prints, you know, because I print out test prints before I put it out. And this was one of the test prints, so I thought I might as well use this cute gingham that I made. I think I'll just stick that right. Oh, what a weird glue string. I've never seen that with a glue stick. Yeah. Just put that right on our bag. Find my bone folder. Yeah, I've been making a million different things the past few days, and I, I can't find anything. It's just a wasteland of craft products all around me. I need to address that, but I wanted to get a video out. So we'll move our glue book for the moment. Probably should let this dry, but 
in the interest of time, we'll go ahead and try to do it now. Let's see if I can get the big shot over here. Wow, heavy. Okay, so I have my big shot. I am on platform one. This is a Tim Holtz. What are these called? Uh, oh, that's glary. 3D embossers, is that right? Uh, I will try to link this particular folder down below. But what I want is I want the raised part on the front of my bag, which means I'm going to put my bag in so that the indented side, can you guys tell? The indented side of the folder is going to be on the front. Is that right? Am I doing it backwards? Well, I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? And then what I'm going to do is just wrap my bag around so that it'll fit through the um, big shot. And we only need that top part embossed anyway. So let's see. Ooh, it's gonna push stuff off my desk. Uh-oh, causing a craft a lamp. There we go. Let's see if that did it. I think I'll go ahead. You're not supposed to go through again, but what the heck, let's live on the edge, shall we? I'm a rebel. So we'll get that out of there. And when you're using your um, texture plates, you only need one of your acrylic pieces for the sandwich. So let's move this out of the way again. Have a little room. Let's see if I did it the right direction. Well, I did indeed. There we go. Can you guys see where it's embossed? And we don't need the bottom part embossed because that's going to be folded up to make our pocket. So what I did after that was I used my, um, what is it, my Vintage Photo Ink, get this out of the way too, my Vintage Photo Ink, and I just really lightly brushed over it to pick up some of that embossing to make it more obvious. Not doing it very hard, just a little bit, and that just helps it stand out some. Totally not obligatory, you do what you like to do. So can you see that? See how it stands out a little more? And then what we'll do is decide how big we want our pocket. And I would say probably right about there. It's totally arbitrary. Whatever works, whatever fits your space. And I think I'll ink the edge of the bag too. Just cause you know, white is kind of hard to see. All right, speeding it along, speeding it along. I know, watching people ink is just fascinating. But for those of us who like to ink, it's a thing. Okay, so now we'll have our little pocket right there. I like how that kind of grunged it up. I'm going to take this, and you need to be pretty gentle when you're pulling the bag back open, because that embossing folder really does mash those layers together pretty well. So you can see on the back it tore some, but that is okay, it's no worries. All right, and now I'm thinking, wondering if I want to, I think I might glue the back section of the little gusset closed right here, just to give it some stability, and so that our um, piece of paper that we're sliding in will go automatically into that front channel instead of trying to go in the back. Does that make any sense? It does in my head. So many things are that way. Is my glue coming out? Get in there. There we go. So we'll do it on that side. Try not to glue the bag closed because that would stink. And we'll do it over here. I'm pulling it right up to my face. I'm sorry. Contact should be here tomorrow. Yes. I don't know how I let myself run out. And I don't have bifocals, which I really need uh, if I'm gonna use my glasses. So I have to just take them off entirely and stick my head right down on it. It's kind of awkward. All right, so then we have our pocket. We have a little tear there. It's not a big deal. I am fine with it. All right, we have our pocket folded up. And now I have just bits and pieces of my, these are scraps from grandma's kitchen that I had left over from working in the um, idea book. I've just been using my scraps. Where's my tear ruler? Any old ruler will do. I had everything packed up to work downstairs, and so I just have a bucket of tools over <laughs> next to me. So I'm just gonna tear this down to 
be slightly smaller than our pocket. Eyeballing it all the way, baby. Go there, go there. I want the white to show a little bit, but I do want to cover that red insignia. I think I'll do the top because I want to see my strawberry. I don't want to tear the bottom of my strawberry off. It's so luscious and giant. The images from this kit came from Julie at the old design shop. Also linked down below. She has the most awesome digitals and digital ephemera images. Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay, so that's a good size. I think I want to back this. It's on pretty thin paper and we're gonna be putting a ribbon under it. And so I think I wanna go ahead and back it um, just to make it a little stronger and so the ribbon doesn't show so much. And what I have here is just the fly leaf of an old book. Love the color. Actually, you know what we could use is our glue book page because it's not going to show. And we could save that beautiful paper for writing on. So I'll just go ahead and put that on there. There's my little scrapey card. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, allergies are high. High swing. Get out my little chopper and then we'll trim that down. What am I doing? It's upside. <laughs> it's very disconcerting not to be able to see what you're doing, I gotta tell you. Alright. So we'll just trim this, get it relatively straight. Might throw some ink around the edges, get it to stand out on that white bag. Now, Heather's style is really different than mine, so definitely go check out her video because, as I said, she originated the idea, and hers are just stunning. All right, so we've got that trimmed down. We've got some extra glue on my fingers. That's always good news. I'm not gonna go crazy with the inking, just get a little bit on there. Perfect, and I think that will go beautifully right there on our pocket. It will. And I pulled this out too because I like the red, white, and blue thing going on. So I think we will glue that down to get what's left of our glue page. Very handy to use those glue book pages to stabilize paper. A little extra recycling is fun. Don't put it on upside down because that would look silly. I think I'll put it at a little angle. And I moved it away from the edge a little bit because we're going to put a hole reinforcer there. All right. And this was another Heather. I think it was Heather that said this, and it was very smart. Uh, I have this We Are Memory Keepers hole reinforcer punch, which I like very much, but it's kind of an odd size. So what Heather does is she uses a standard sticky hole reinforcer underneath. Where is it on top? Uh, I think it's underneath the ones she punches and it just makes it makes the hole better I don't it looks better and I totally agree with her I never thought of it but I will show you so I'm just putting down my sticky dot and let's grab a scrap of paper where did we put that gingham there it is I'll use the same gingham because I dig it and again I will link the hole punch down below too Come out, come out. Where'd you go? Oh, you didn't punch out all the way. There we go. Yep, this is tricky, not being able to see. <laughs> Literally flying blind. Put some glue stick on there. I'm just gonna pull this up close for a minute. Get our little circle right there. And it just kind of edges the, the circle a little bit. I don't know, I can't really explain it. Can you guys see that? Let me get the hole punched in it. Maybe you can see it better. Hole punch also missing. I really should have cleaned up before I started this video. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to do it because it seemed fun. So let me get in there. There we go. Can you guys see that? I think you can. See where it just kind of finishes it off more nicely. So bravo, Heather. That's a great tip. So now we have our little pocket thing that's going to go right there. 
And somewhere I have pulled out. Oh, here we go. I have some crinkled sari silk in this beautiful creamy color. And so what I'm going to do is feed it through. She says, looking for something to poke it through. I find it a lot easier to use my stylus just to poke that um, sari silk through rather than trying to make a point and, um, you know, just get it through with my fingers. I'm going to take a little bit of glue stick, lay that down. Actually, I'm going to give myself more of a tail so I can tie a bow. I need a lot of ribbon to tie a bow. I can't do it with little bits. No. Yeah, come on. Just want it to hold down for us for a minute. I think I'm ungluing it with my sticky fingers. Stay. Stay. Oh, it listened. Cool. So we've got that, and it's going to go like that. It's going to go around the back of our bag. Again, we want it to lay down flat. Maybe I'll try my um, art glitter glue. No, maybe I don't want to. That's too permanent a solution if I get it in the wrong place. Get on there. I'm whispering to my craft supplies. I'm willing them to behave well. Sometimes it works. Sometimes I just look crazy pants. Well, I think that's probably most of the time, but it's okay. I'm down with that. Okay, so that way it won't bunch up on the back. I've lost control on the front a little bit, but that's all right as well. All will be well. So what I will do at this point, just to keep wrangling that, is I'm going to grab one of my book binding clips, if I can find one. Another mess down here, yes indeed. Good grief. I'm going to have to spend a whole day just cleaning up in here. So here's one of my little quilting clips, and I'll just stick it right there to hold this where I want it to be. I'll be tie a little hole. Can we get some more? Nope. All right, so we're going to, did I say tie a hole? That's wrong. Tie a bow. So, we will try this. I don't know. We'll try it. All thumbs. Yes, indeed, all thumbs. Especially with the crinkly ribbon, it's so, um, when you crinkle up your sari, it's so boingy, tries to get away. Have I got it? I have not. I've got my sticky fingers. Should probably wipe those little fingers off, huh? All right, well, I can mess with that later and make it pretty. At least we've got a bow shape. That's a plus. Cut off this excess. We've got more for something else. That's fun. Okay, and now, before I take that clip off, I'm going to take my art glitter glue. Make sure I've got that pocket. It's kind of centered on there where I want it. And I'm just going to take my art glitter glue. Can you guys see? Yeah. And put some right along the edge. And right down the sides, right there. Hopefully that's still kind of straight. Looks straight-ish. Straight enough for me. Take our clip off. And go in from the top and the sides. Ooh, and I'm just catching that recycling symbol. Yay. It's going to be covered. So I've got that back up to my face, just going around the edges of the little tag. Uh, Heather, I believe, cut her piece into a tag shape. I like this one as a rectangle, so that's how I did it. Totally your choice. You could use a recipe card down here if you're doing a recipe-themed journal or a cooking journal. Okay, I think that's down there pretty well. Did we get the side? You could be brave and just glue this down all at once, but I thought I would take baby steps. Just because. Ooh, I need to refill my glue bottle. So I'm just getting down in there, making sure that edge is down. And we're catching that ribbon so it doesn't go anywhere with the sari silk. And then it's just a matter of putting fun stuff in your 
little pocket bag ephemera holder thing. So I did pull out a few things. I've got this um, cute photo. I just got these. I don't think they're terribly new, but they're Tim Holtz. Uh, what are they called? Tim Holtz snapshots. They look like that. Very glary. I'm sorry. Again, we'll link down below if they're still available. My Hobby Lobby is kind of behind the times, so these could be from five years ago. They could be brand new. I'm not sure. But I like the images, and they're nice and heavy. So that can go right in our pocket. And if you want to, you can glue this pocket closed on the two sides. I kind of like it not glued because our ribbon is holding it closed, or our sari silk, and that way things can kind of go out at an angle. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then I've got this cute little, this is also a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera, little book cover. I like the color. I would probably, when I was sending this out or putting it in a journal, I would back those two things. And then we can make a little label. I took one of the um, pages from the kit. This one is not printed front and back. I would use one that was probably printed front and back. And I was thinking of sticking that right in the bag to be just more journaling space or to be used as um, collage or something in the journal. And I don't want it this whole height, so let's go ahead and get out of the way. There we go. I am a crazy person, aren't I? As long as my craft supplies don't start answering, I think I'm okay. So there we go. Now that's a little shorter. And we can tuck that right in the bag portion. And that is torn. It did tear right up here. So what will we do? We will repair it. And I think I'm just going to take this piece of washi tape that happens to be sitting there. Also happens to be Tim Holtz. Guess I'm on a Tim Holtz kick, huh? And I'm just going to put that right there and pretend like it's supposed to be. See? All is well. Bag is fixed. Got a little more decoration. Yeah. Never a mistake in junk journaling. There we go. Okay, so that could stick out a little bit. Could put a tab on there if you wanted to. I love that. And then I think I will just take something from the kit. Oh, you know what? I have this too. Do we like that color? I think what I would like to do is maybe fold this in half. Maybe I don't like this color. Hmm. I thought I did for a minute. Nope, it's too big and I don't like the color. Change of plans. We'll just make a fun tag. Here's another piece from the kit. Again, a scrap. You guys, I'm going to pause for one second because I am going to sneeze. That was just in the nick of time. I would have blown your poor little ears out, especially if you're wearing earbuds. Good grief. So sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to tear that off. Is that a good height? I don't want everything to be the same height in here. Perfect. I'll go ahead and back it with that pretty end paper that we had. Grab our glue page. Get some glue smushed on the whole back of the tag or journaling card or what have you, whatever you want to call it. I don't think, well, maybe I'll cut it into a tag shape. Make sure I get plenty of glue on there. Don't want it trying to come off its backing. And we'll just line it up on the bottom and on the edge. There is my scraper. Oh boy, can't find my bone folder. Oh, there's my bone folder. We'll use that. Awesome. Chop that down. And 
the gusset in this bag lets it be thick, you know, thick enough, has enough room in it, you could put tons of things in here. What a nice Happy Meal it would be. What a nice surprise. I think... I don't think I'm going to turn it into a tag. Let's run some ink on it and maybe put a tab on it. A little more fabric maybe just to fancy it up. Do I have some lace laying around here? I must. How could I not? My lace drawer is a little bit blocked at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh look, that's cute. And it's white. That makes me happy because we've got a little bit of white down here. So let's just take our tiny attacher. She says like she knows where it is. I do. It's in the drawer where it belongs. Crazy. And we can just put that right over the top. Pop a couple staples in. Not even close to the center, but I am okay because I love how that looks. And I think what I will do is pull that up like that, put that like that, slide that in over there maybe. Look at that. And it is done. Now, if you wanted to, you could glue this on the page on three sides and make it another tuck in the back. You could put another piece of paper over the back to cover up your ribbon and your W, and then it could be a floating pocket. All kinds of fun things you could do with this. So that is Heather from Rose Hill Paper Cottage's idea of a little stuffed bag pocket. And I think it's fabulous. You guys should give it a try. Thanks for coming to play, and I never even said I got right down to it. Hi, if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, thanks so much for coming back, you guys. Helen, the idea book today is for you, and uh, if you got any enjoyment or liked what you see, think about throwing me a thumbs up and maybe subscribing. I will see you guys again real soon in the next one. Bye.